Hello guys, welcome to start the new week you vlog. This week for me has been a bit of a palaver. <laughs> it's just been a bit of a weird one. So I woke up on Monday morning and I had lost hearing in my right ear. It was so weird, it was like, kind of felt like it needed to be popped, kind of felt like I was underwater, but I just couldn't hear anything really out of it. Everything was very muffled. So I went to the chemist, they gave me some like olive oil eardrops, so weird. They didn't really do anything. And I woke up on Tuesday yesterday and it was worse and I was super dizzy, like. <laughs> I was I felt like I was walking around like that so weird and was like having to lean on stuff for, for balance that I'd never really had before and yeah just generally it was so weird when I was talking it felt like I was in a like a like a vacuum it my voice sounded really robotic everything was just super muffled even the telly sounded so weird and combined with the dizziness I was just like I'm gonna call my doctor and see if they could give me something for an ear infection. That's That must be what it is. Especially because if you remember in last week's vlog, I was feeling a little bit run down. Like nothing really ever came of that, but I was feeling a bit run down. So yeah, I called my doctor yesterday and they were like, we don't have any appointments available, but if you wanna call 111, they have some slots that they can book you in here. So I'm gonna call 111. She was able to book me an appointment with my doctors, which is just like, I understand it, but it's also a little bit silly that I have to call 111 to get an appointment with my doctors at NHS. I went to my doctor's appointment. She looked in my, she looked in my good ear and then in my bad ear. Everything's fine. Like I've got the cleanest ears. My eardrum looks really healthy, so it's not an ear infection. She was like, I'm gonna book you an urgent appointment with ENT, but she couldn't get through to them. So, she, so for the meantime, she prescribed me some pills for the dizziness. And I was like, that's fine. I'll wait for my ENT appointment. Anyway, she then called me, my doctor called me and was like, I've just spoken to ENT, they're gonna prescribe you these pills, but they're really, really strong steroids. They're so strong that you're gonna to have to like have a plan of how to wean yourself off them. So I've got an appointment. So she basically booked me an appointment next Monday for like a checkup for my ear and to have a plan of like how to wean myself off these steroids. But in all the rush on the phone, like, I don't really know what they've diagnosed me with. I don't know why I've been prescribed these. I've done some research and it looks like it's good for, like these pills help with inflammation of the ear. So it must be like an internal ear thing. But like, I've been reading all sorts of articles online. There's so many articles with this thing called sudden deafness, which is basically what I've, like, and I'm worrying that it's that. And if it was that, I'm so glad I was able to get an appointment so quick because if you don't like get medication for in the first week or two, then you could lose your hearing forever. But my symptoms sounded so similar, like you just wake up one morning and you haven't got hearing in your ear or you feel like very full in your ear, which I guess is what I had. Yeah, that is why I'm in my PJs. <laughs> Taking it easy today. I'm feeling better, like I'm not as dizzy today, which is amazing and um, those pills are helping. And also I feel like my ear isn't as bad. Saying that, I don't know if it's just cause I'm getting used to the feeling of it being so blocked. Like I still sound funny when I talk. But yeah, what a palaver. So, so, so scary. I posted it on Instagram. So many people have also said that they've been having ear problems lately so so weird hope this doesn't happen to any of you because it feels horrible yesterday it was such an awful day i would like was too scared to drive to the doctors because of the dizziness I couldn't even knit in the evening without feeling dizzy but yeah i'm so glad i'm feeling a bit better today i'm working today i'll buy it or i'll be it in my pjs in my dressing gown which has been such a treat i've just edited last week's vlog and it's all up and ready and this afternoon I am, well, I basically have this new phone and I need to get all my Instagram content and drafts ready. Um, I'm having such a mare with iCloud, I can't even express. I have been trying to, I don't know if anyone cares about this, maybe, maybe you will, maybe you won't. I had like 800 gigabytes of pictures and videos on my old phone, which I had to erase 
because I had to send the phone back. So that 800 gigabytes has transferred to this phone. So this phone's like full and I haven't even used it yet. So for the past two days, I've been backing up all my pictures and videos onto iCloud from this new phone. And then my plan is to wipe this phone and start scratch without all those 800 gigabytes of videos. I think I'm gonna have to talk to Apple because I don't wanna lose, like I wanna make sure that they're still in iCloud but not on this phone. If anyone knows how to do that, let me know. But it does mean that <laughs> this phone has been trying to back up 70,000 items for the past three days now and it's still sinking 40,000, like 40,000 items it's still trying to sink and it's been three days. So it's only saved 20,000 items, which is just madness. Um, so yeah, that's gonna take a while. But whilst I do have everything on this phone and on some hard drives upstairs, I am gonna like snug up and get some Instagram drafts that are all ready to go sorted so that I can just press and post when I'm ready. I've been talking for seven minutes and this camera needs a charge. So I'm gonna stick you on charge and make some lunch. I hope that wasn't too waffly for you. Let me know if losing your hearing has happened to you too. Hopefully by the end of this vlog, I'll have complete hearing back. <laughs> that would be good. Very cozy work day. I've just been working on the sofa, but I've got so many Instagram videos. I didn't quite realize how much content I have ready to go that I just haven't got around to posting yet. So I'm excited about all the content on Instagram that you're about to see from me in the next couple of weeks. I, d I don't feel right still. I feel like maybe now it's the pills that are making me feel weird, but I've started feeling dizzy again and a bit nauseous. So like it makes me feel nauseous even to knit, which is a bit weird. G's on his way home. He's just had a haircut after work, which is nice. I'm looking forward to seeing his new hair and I'm gonna be cooking dinner. I chosen this from Gusto, right? And this is the first time I'll ever have cooked tofu at home. I've never made tofu at home, so I'm really excited about this. It'd be so good to find something vegetarian, vegan that I can like have instead of meat throughout the week. So I'm gonna make this marmite, marmite teriyaki tofu with edamame rice. If you guys use tofu at home, I would love for you to share some recipes. That would be really nice. Like, have you got any favorite Instagram or TikTok recipes that you recommend this is the one i'm going to be using i know that it's really important that you marinate it otherwise it doesn't taste very good this is not what i expected it to look like <laughs> it looks like a brain i thought it was going to like pin here for some reason that's so weird hmm <laughs> This is our dinner. Marmite peanut tofu with rice and, and edamame beans. Interesting. And we're currently watching Girls, one of the best series ever made. I look like I'm in a 90s boy band with this fringe. I really need to get it cut. I actually haven't had it cut since I chopped my fingernail off. Oh, that out of breath. Yeah, I'm definitely not well. It shouldn't get me out of breath to walk up the stairs. I haven't had my hair cut since July. July. So long. So I need to do that at some point. What did I think of tofu? I thought it was weird. Maybe I didn't like flavour it enough. It was a little bit bland. Texture was a little bit odd. You know what? It wasn't that bad. It kind of grew on me the more I ate the more I liked it so that's a good thing I'm gonna get ready for bed now I'm actually gonna sit down and do some knitting and look on my kindle to see what book I'm gonna read next because I finished Game of Thrones a couple of nights ago and I want a little bit of break of fantasy before I read the second book around Christmas probably is this dirty do you need a wash maybe not I'm knitting a hat for my sister for Christmas and oh my god I'm obsessed with the yarn it's so nice it's making me want to knit the same thing for me but I'm worried it's going to be a bit too big so hopefully hopefully it isn't but yeah I'm gonna work on that and have a little look on my kindle in bed what a treat <laughs> what time is it 
although it's not a, it's 10 past nine o'clock. 10 past nine, that's so bad, isn't it? I just need to show you guys this knit, knit jumper. <laughs> you need to let me know, comment down below if you think I should make this jumper, knit it. It's called the Halibut Sweater. It's literally a sweater with fish on it. I, do I need to make that? Why do I feel like I need to make that? You can do it in so many different colours. I quite like the cream background with the darker fish, but you can also, like, you could do any, any kind of colour. Look at that. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I like it, but I feel like I need to make it. That's nice, brown on brown. People have also done like self-striping yarn so that the fish comes out in different colours. But yeah, do I need to make this jumper? Leave me a comment down below. Do you guys want some lunch inspo? Because she's making the most amazing looking lunch today. This looks so healthy. Just showing them a bowl with yeah, you, a you're not, bit of tomato. You're, not, you're still constructing it. <laughs> we've got beetroot, we've got tomato. Is this my one? Yeah. That's so cute, thanks. Then we have got dill, shredded carrot and sweet corn and onion. That smells insane. We've got couscous, some pickles. Are you putting feta on it? Mm. Oh my God, and beans. This is going to be huge and delicious. And then I've also got some soup left over from yesterday that I'm heating up. I'm still feeling a little bit odd. <laughs> today my hearing is so much better but i'm still feeling a little bit a little bit woozy do i look gray why is the camera making me look gray <laughs> no it's the waitrose carolan chicken spicy chicken oh my god it's so good so i'm gonna have a little bit of g salad and some soon. I've been filming some YouTube videos today and I'm going to spend the afternoon filming some Instagram content and this is the first time this week I've put makeup on so I feel a bit more human which is nice. Wow that is such a healthy lunch. Delicious. I am in the process of trying to bulk film some videos and I've just tried this outfit on and thought I'd share it. My voice still doesn't feel right, it's so weird. Okay, so I got this jacket from Primark from the men's section. I still got the tag on, so let me have a look. <clears throat> 30 pounds, it's called the Stronghold, I don't know, work jacket. These jackets are everywhere on Instagram at the moment, but I couldn't find one that I really liked in the women's department, so I checked out the man's and yeah, love this. I love kind of the cord detailing around the cuffs and the collar and I love the oversized fit and I've tried it on with these jeans that I picked up from m and last week that I thought I was going to return but actually I really like in this outfit. So they are the Harper Cigarette Ankle Brazers. I will leave a link in the description box but I just think this is such a cool outfit for autumn winter, super easy. These new suede loafers that I also got from m and go so well with this jacket. So yeah, I'm really happy with this outfit and think I might keep it. <laughs> Maurice, you are dangerously close. Are you okay? I'm like trying to finish filming now. It's so annoying though, the sun's just come out. It was so dark when I was filming earlier and now the sun looks beautiful. So my content's probably gonna be all over the place. Yeah, I'm, I think I might keep these trousers now. They are so comfy, like so stretchy. And I do like the little cuff at the bottom, like an intentional cuff rather than me have, just having to roll them up. Do you wanna go out? Go on then. And then I also bought last week um, these trousers which are the same as the brown cord trousers from m and but they're black so I thought I was going to return these but I'm just going to try them on now just to double check. I just went a bit mad and over purchased because they <laughs> fit nice but do I need these? I don't know if I do. I'm going to try them on with these loafers again. Oh they're just such a nice shape though. What do you guys think about that? They're so comfy as well. The shape of them is just so nice, but I don't know if I need another pair of wide leg trousers. And also these are kind of long. 
so I might have to have these jeans taken up. Um, I also wanted to show, I did purchase this cardigan from Zara, which I still have the tags in because I haven't worn out yet, but just another very easy autumnal outfit. What do you guys think? It's not much skin on show, but <laughs> it's very comfortable. Guys, the funniest thing just happened. I was feeling a bit sad, pre-hormonal and just sad. And I said to Jean, um, I wanted some chocolate. So he did a delivery order for some chocolate and it arrived and I was really surprised and really excited about it. And we've opened the bag and this has arrived. Oh no, I feel so bad. We've obviously got someone's order who is not feeling very well and has just been like, I need medicine, I need broccoli. <laughs> I need some lemon and a ginger shot, but we don't know who they are, obviously. So we've got someone's order and they, whoever ordered this is going to uh, bag, bag out, please. Properly. Bilbo, bag out, please. <laughs> whoever ordered this is going to get a whole big bag of chocolate. So I'd kind of love to see their face. I have put it on our road, like our area Facebook group to see if anyone is missing this, but... We just did a little run to the corner shop and got some actual chocolate. I went in my PJs. I literally went to the corner shop like this. But I got some more tea bags. Can you tell I'm loving my tea? I got some jasmine tea. And then we got some dime bar. And then I got my favorite milker, which is Chips Ahoy. So it's like cookie in chocolate bar, very nice. We eating these separately or together? Like, do you want one and yeah. I want one? Yeah. We're having them separately. <laughs> Today's Friday. I am just so fed up with my head today at the moment. Just feeling sad. Oh my God, like m bad mental health makes me so sad because I struggle with it and there's no getting out of that funk when you're in it. Like, no matter how much you have, how happy you are, it is just like, it honestly feels so debilitating when I'm in one of these moods and I'm, at the moment, I'm just in that. And it could be um, because I'm due on my period next week or it could be the start of sad season, my eye is twitching. Who knows, but I am just so sad. Anyway, it's Friday. I've just made myself some lunch left over from yesterday. Just a huge bowl of beans and veg. I'm gonna eat this and then tonight I'm going out. So that should hopefully cheer me up. If it doesn't, then we do know, then, it, then I have got a case of the old depression on the go. So I am um, going out for dinner this, well, it's kind of like an early dinner. We've booked, Jean and I have booked dinner for five o'clock um, at one of our favorite London restaurants, which is called the Wigmore. It's like part of the Langham Hotel. And if you guys have been watching me for a while, you will know that the Wigmore do the best cheese toasties in London. Their cheese toastie is absolutely unreal. And they're doing their toasty, cheese toasty takeover again, which I don't think they've done since like 2021. So it's been a couple of years. Um, but it's where they have like guest chefs every month over the next couple of months to like, um, make a custom limited edition cheese toasty and this month they've got chef i can't remember their name but they are behind cavita which is one of my favorite mexican restaurants in london if you love mexican food you have to go to cavita it's in marlebone and oh it's so good i really want to go back there so yeah she's made like a limited edition cheese toasty at the wigmore this month so tonight we're gonna go and try it out um, I am wearing a bit of mishmash today. So I've got on these wide leg black jeans from m and I've got my new suede loafers from m and And then I've got on an old t-shirt that I got from a charity shop. I think it's originally Zara. I put on a little waistcoat. I wasn't sure on what vibe I was feeling, so I thought I'd wear this and I can always take it off. Then I'm wearing this, which I might need to take off because it actually looks 
like a really nice day out today but it's brown cardigan from Zara and this is why I might need to take it off because I really want to wear this jacket it goes so well with these loafers so it's kind of an oversized look but so snug so cozy and it's half past two at the moment but i thought i'd go a little bit earlier i just feel like i need to get out of the house so i thought i'd take myself on a little afternoon date i thought we could go to one of my favorite yarn shops in soho i really want to try the blank street coffee white chocolate matcha i've seen it all over instagram i really want to try that so i thought i could take my knitting and sit in there with a matcha and um, then meet G. Oh, I also have something I need to return to Zara, so I'm gonna pack that in my bag as well. A nice afternoon, Friday afternoon, end of week, date a treat to myself because just to make up for the fact that I've been feeling so rubbish this week, health-wise and kind of mood-wise as well. Oh my God, this bag has got so much stuff in it. <laughs> What is wrong with me? So I've got my wallet with a scratch card that I need to go and collect. Oh, these glasses are actually a bit better than these ones. So I'll take these ones instead. And then I'm gonna take a hat that I'm making my dad for Christmas, camera protector, hair, spare hairband. And I just need to go and get these, these jeans that I'm gonna return. I went for the banana bread autumn limited edition matcha iced. Oh my God, it's so good. Sad this is just for autumn because this could be addictive. 